Hey YouTube, welcome back to UniXTCG, and today we are going to go over some Piccolo games, and man, oh man, um, uh, this, uh, this deck, <laughs> this deck, um, I've, I've been trying to build a bunch of different ways, um, I've actually tried to build the deck about three different ways, I find that it has the same problems more or less regardless, and then sometimes it's clunkier than not. I'm not sure how to go about this, but I've got four games for you to go over today with commentary. Um, I don't, I haven't posted this list on my Patreon because, like, I honestly don't feel like it's worth posting. I feel like I do try to make sure that the lists are worth post, uh, lists are worth posting, and this is not it. So, uh, if if there's enough requests, I'll drop the list. But man, this is just, whew. But we did have some wins, we had some losses in these four games, and so I would like you guys to see. See if we can get this over 100 likes, and then if you guys really want to do me a solid, you can go over to my Universe X channel and check out some of my Dragon Ball related content for games and stuff like that. Soon we're going to be talking about Dino when it comes out in October, and more and more and more when the manga comes back and whatnot, Sparking Zero videos, all these things. And if we can get monetized by... October, we'll be giving away two copies of Sparking Zero with more copies if we go even beyond those expectations. So with that being said, let's hop into the Piccolo gameplay. Okay, so here we go. We're going on our first one. Uh, this is Piccolo versus Bardock. I, I can't meme about this deck enough. I think the deck is fun, but I don't think it's viable quite yet. And before we get into it, like I said before, I've done the Piccolo, Kami version, um, I think that just going a straightforward ramp version is the better way to do so, but you really are running a lot of extras, and that just leads to a flat out point blank period just mishap when it comes to combo power. So starting off right here, um, I have the offensive. The thing that you want to do with this deck is get them down to a suitable life range and then just punch them out using your overwhelming attack power. So uh, charging the Broly because there's no guarantee we're going to get to that against an aggressive deck. And then playing Mimoa to at least grab another card, being uh, Daze. Now, <laughs> as you can see, there are some funny things with this hand, such as absolutely zero combo power. And that's crazy. It sucks. It actually hurts a lot. So we're going to keep going. He's going to attack me, giving me a destructive strength. Um, at least the destructive strength allows me to play Moa if I so choose. But the other thing about this is your leader still needs to awaken to actually go off. Now, this is a pretty cool combo for him. The fact that he was able to go for the Mew to discard, then the Hercule to get it back. It's just a really, really good economy. So take notes in case you want to build black. Or you're going to be around for when I do my black testing on this channel on the patreon but uh here we're going to use destructive strength because not only does destructive strength then give us an extra energy that we can play moa with destructive strength is also going to give us a uh okay a destructive strength is also allowing us to keep our days of uh days of training in our hand where we can use them as power later so like i said you kind of have to like Awaken and green doesn't really have a lot of awakeners. I think we have Paragus from the Broly starter deck and we have the TN from the um, From set one that crits your own life So he's gonna try to rush me down because he honestly knows what happens when we get up here that being said I do think that we have a little bit of a good setup to get to stabilize once we do get there So he's gonna hit me here giving me a third one of these that's kind of a lot and we're gonna end up sitting this one down we got the piccolo we're gonna immediately charge the dead card and then we're gonna ramp again now after ramping again putting the trunks into life we're gonna draw and get a goku um putting the goku here is a little risky honestly it's actually a lot of risky because putting the gohan here is um or playing the goku here would cut us off from gigantic meteor and that's like half more combo power in our hand so we're really just going to keep this, and I think this is the time where we just actually start using Moas to protect ourselves, because we don't want to awaken quite yet. We're a good, like, turn or so off from wanting to awaken. But we are going to do a little a little funny shenanigans the following turn. So, yeah, uh, this pan's going to come through, hitting us with, uh, with just a little bit, and then we're going to be able to awaken this time. So now he's going to come out with a 30k. This indeed sucks. And he's getting his field card so we can start comboing. We're not going to awaken him yet because we do not want to start dealing with 25Ks. Uh, but we're going to awaken. And that's E. Sheesh. <laughs> like, for all though. So uh, we're just going to use a Gigantic Meteor to get out of this. Maintaining our Light Pool. And that's going to at least stop the Onslaught from this turn. 
Look at him, look at him. Look at him T posing for dominance. So we're gonna draw and immediately charge a blank card. And then we're gonna play this Gelfon. We have no choice but to actually start pushing ourselves up. So here we're gonna go. And see about this. We're gonna try to push that pan off the field, and it's a no sell. Um, now we're going to attack here. And we're gonna actually just use Cell's Earth Destroying Blow. Because at this point, getting up to 65k, I just don't see him out comboing me. And that's going to allow me to at least attack one more time. Now, this was a risky move, because it cut me off from my defense at a time where he's going up. But now I'm going to actually swing here too, because I just turned Gohan on. Allowing me to at least get the kill off on this one. He's going to awaken, but I just drew an extra card. And now with two super combos in hand, a 10k and a 5k... I feel a lot more comfortable, two 10Ks and a 5K, I feel a lot more comfortable surviving the next turn and being able to go in. Now, see, whatever just happened there, I don't understand it. I literally do not understand it. This, this, I heard you guys talking about low elo on the other thing. This was a low elo play. No offense to this person. If you were watching this, hey, good games, but um, you just should have let that one go. There was no reason to really let that happen. So here we are, trying to just survive, because uh, now we're at critical mass, we're at 8 energy to his 5 and an energy marker, but uh, we do kind of have to get a little a little, a little funny here. Uh, we do have a little combo to come out, we're going to throw this out, just because we might need trunks just to go up in energy, but we're starting to get there. This is about to be a very strong turn, and he's not attacking the Gohan. Which, once again, I do think is also a bit of a mistake. Because that Gohan is going to lead to extra mileage. I think some of this is a case of just not understanding how Piccolo works. But this one, like, again, this should just go. I think uh, taking this isn't the worst part. He He's thoroughly tapped out for the turn. And I think that we can really just get in here. But he's playing the Par Par Bros to stop Gohan from um, attacking. I guess that stops me from ramping. But now that I'm at 8 energy, I don't need to ramp anymore. I just need to go fast. So we're going to charge and then immediately play Piccolo. Uh, Piccolo is going to get me a card and we're going to well, allow me to play a free card. We're going to swing here. I need it to happen um, just to get that out of his hand. I guess he's fearing what I could do next. But yeah, I just really am not. I'm not sure about how he played this one. But now we're strong. We're at 70k. And he's got a lot of cards in hand. So I think we can actually afford to get out of here. But I'm going to go up to 75. Because the way I counted, you know, if you're missing a super combo. Like, if I'm at 75, you have to have three super combos. Or you're dropping your entire hand. So it's like, the first attack is almost more important than the second attack. The first attack... Oh, destruction. The first attack is going to push through and get you the draw. The second attack is what's up. So now we're going to swing this out. I could have played the Gohan, but I wanted to keep him. Because if he destroys this Gohan, which he should, we want to be able to make sure that we can get out of this. So now we're going to swing. And now that he's at two, all we have to do this turn is survive. If we survive this turn, we literally end the game next turn. So uh, we don't want to get ourselves in double strike shotgun range. So this is a point where we might actually just, uh, let's see, we have to see what he combos up to. And he's at, uh, he's at 35, so yeah, we're just gonna take the super combo. We have enough to survive quite a lot, but if we get down to two, he can put his entire weight behind the Bardock SR, and we die. So now with this coming, he's gonna go up to 30k, and we have the ability to go up to 35, and just block that out. Now he's going to be forced to actually play from his hand and see where we go from there. Ten times Kamehameha is going to get rid of Gohan. Um, I I think he didn't draw the... Oh, never mind. <laughs> I was just like, he didn't draw it because, like, why? Um, now he's going to swing on this one. And this is kind of a weird point because I'm like, I'm just going to protect this. Like, and I'll keep the 10k. I just don't see why he didn't swing on me and pop. I guess he knows he doesn't want to give me combo power in hand, but I think he just should have popped the Piccolo. I can't see reasons why we keep that. But now, first we're going to swing here just to see if we can get a card out of his hand, and it's two 10Ks. 
And then we're going to replay out the Gohan to get that energy back. Or to get the attack back. Then we're going to activate Piccolo. Like, this is just not it. So we're going to draw. And then we're going to play Days of Training. To go up. To 80k. And then we're going to Gigantic Meteor. Because like I said, the first attack is more important. Um, it sounds weird to swing higher on the first one first. But the first attack is more important. So we're going to give him one card here. Card in hand. And then we are going to take it away. We're going to swing with... Uh, we're going to play Mo real quick. And I think... If I'm not mistaken, I think I swing with Go on here just because it's one more card out of his hand. Oh, no, I guess not. I guess I just said screw it. <laughs> I thought I would have attacked with Go on just to take one more card out of his hand. But he's still there. If this attack somehow doesn't get through, he's still there to swing. So we're going to go up to 100k this time. Allowing ourselves to go up to 30 the very next time. And that's pretty much the game. So realistically, with that, I do think that that's just. He doesn't know how to really play against Piccolo, and there was a couple of crucial decisions I didn't like. There. So let's move on to the next one. So here we are against Jiren, and um, honestly, it's rough. Like, this one I kept in because it was really funny. Uh, it, it is honestly was just a funny match. But it also exposes one thing about Jiren that I do want people to take note of, and that's why I wanted to keep it in the video. Because um, in most cases, this is a one-sided landslide curb stomp by the Jiren player into the Piccolo. Uh, but then again, I feel like that's most decks played correctly in the Piccolo. I'm not going to front. I don't think there's a correct way for me to feel good about this matchup quite yet. So, with that being said, we are now going over and uh, just attacking to be able to get up in here. We're going to play the MOA, see if we can pick up anything, and we get Days of Training. And then we pass over. Now, again, the issue is once he gets to 4, Jiren coming down is pretty much going to shut down my entire game plan. And it's very hard to get rid of it, but opening up the Broly works. It's a very good card to have in this situation, and now we do have to essentially get past this and immediately roll into it. Um, crit is bad for any green deck, and now this is going to become a priority for me to stop. I don't really need the Kami in hand because he doesn't have, like, a one-drop that I think I'm going to want to really remove. So we're going to use the one-drop to stop us from getting crit. We can take some life, but we can't take the critical pressure in our life. So, uh, but on the same time, I want him to stop drawing. Like, as soon as possible. So we're going to Days of Training just to get another card in there. And then we're going to attack. It's good to have the Vegeta... Because the Vegeta is going to immediately go into our next play. So attacking him there is good. Like I said, I want, I personally want to force Jiren to awaken. Because I know that like he's a 25k leader. But I have enough 10ks to stop his leader swing pretty much all game. What I don't want is him drawing more cards. And yes, I know he's going to draw a lot of cards once he gets the Jiren on the board. But at least he's not drawing once per turn for drawing. And I can potentially pressure the Jiren. Like, it's a weird mix. But I do think that when you're playing against Jiren, it's correct to cut off his draws. Because if you have any outs to Jiren SR, then making him awaken extremely early, while you will have to tax yourself with a 10k each turn, you are also going to cut off Jiren's draws. And then you have to worry about Jiren SR after that. Now he's charging to 4 next turn, and that's extremely scary, and I do not like it. But at least at the very minimum, we're going to be able to get this up. Uh, and then we're going to attack, and then we're going to be able to discard a card to, uh, to pop the Khalifa. So we can at least get that out of our face, and let our life be our own. So, um, we right here are just going to discard the card we cannot use, and pop the Khalifa. I know it sounds weird, but every other card in here, a super combo, the Vegeta will use to ramp next turn, the Piccolo that we'll use to try to get our game plan on board, um, the Gohan will use to boost the Gohan that we could use to pop Jiren and then attack on him and the Broly we're going to use to really really clear Jiren so he's now awakened and we can't really do damage to him but like I said we just forced him to have to go into something next turn now granted I'm not going to hold you um yeah like he he awakened on that turn and now he has Jiren on board and there's nothing we can really do there we just have to take that he tapped out for the turn but he has Jiren on board um, so we have to hold out for another turn, and it's extremely scary. However, because of us seeing this and awakening, 
we are now at a point where we can do quite a lot. So I can Destructive Strength and then play a Vegeta and get the Destructive Strength back. And that's actually exactly what we needed. The double ramp in one turn is still very, very, very good. And that puts us at a certain amount of momentum. So now that we do this, we're just going to swing. We don't have our leader effect on board, but we can at least get some movement in here. Um, I do want to keep most of the things I have in my hand now. I don't want to get rid of this destructive strength or this um, this gigantic meteor because it will be it'll be my defense next turn. So uh, yeah, we just got uh, <laughs> it's over. I was surprised that card was in his list, and um, I got swept. So now we're gonna just defend ourselves and see what we can do. Um, to be completely fair, since I'm gonna play Broly next turn, I actually am not quite sure about how I feel. Uh, I do have the Gigantic Meteor and another Super Combo, so we're just going to not take that damage and wait. Since he played it's over, he did clear himself out of this, and this is yes and no right here. I am not quite sure about what he played here. Like, looking at his grave, he did discard uh, two, a 5k and a 0k. And Topo and Sphere of Destruction are destroying cards that I'm not going to be playing anymore, really. So I do kind of get dropping those and forcing through the damage. But now we're going to play Broly, and Broly is going to draw another Broly, which is great. And then we're going to immediately destroy that. So we're going to swing on uh, Jiren, and he's going to block it with his Buon. Is getting his mileage. And then we're going to swing on it again and draw out a... Uh, it draw out a 10k in his entire field or a super combo so that's pretty much the end for this but i am fairly certain that he can't really attack and we got really lucky on the super combos like let me let me be the first to say that it was extremely good at the super combos so i guess he just didn't want to have me swing on his leader first um with the bro he wanted to make sure he saved the negation-esque effect but we have a Broly on the board, and Broly is going to stick very hard. So he does immediately play the Fuo, which which sucks. Because now he's going to be able to attack this thing infinite. But I have Gigantic Meteor here. And so once he attacks with that, I'm just going to put the 5k there. and Oh, a 10k, because I don't want to give up the Piccolo. My bad. And we'll let it bang. Then he's going to be able to attack with his leader. And go up to 30 and we have to super combo and that's really telling about our hand it does not feel good but we cannot let this world leave we really can't so now he's going to drop two more cards this is actually crazy and he doesn't combo on it which i think is funny because i have an energy open and gigantic meteor that was a misplay looking at this he dropped a beers and it's over so he is dropping zero k's to go for 20k combo power I'm sorry, 30k combo bar. So I can't fault him on that. I just think I would have actually played out. I think I would have played the Fua. Or I comboed the Fua into it. But um, now we're going to draw. We don't need to charge. We're just going to immediately play Broly. And we're going to get the pop off on Jiren. Him not playing a second Jiren here was godsend for us. So uh, we're going to attack on Jiren. And he's going to block it. That's fine. We have three more 45k attacks, and it's very it's going to be very hard for his board to sustain this. So once again, I think he's trying to protect his life, but uh, he realizes that my priority is Jiren, so he's actually going to use this effect to go off twice, which is fine, really. And then he's going to combo onto it, which is fair. Taking the Fuo off the board and the 10k from his hand. But I still have two more 45k slings on Jiren, and it is going to fumble. Um, now, frankly, the part I don't get here is, if he can't attack it this last time, I don't know why he did it in the first place. I think he's going to defend it one more time. Yeah, there we go. So, he's defended the Jiren, but I feel like it's very much so at a, at a, uh, at what cost type thing. So, we're going to get a card. And that's cool, right? And then, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to... I got lucky with the super combo, so we're going to get some tragic irony here and draw into a blank card that I could have used if I had the energy open, but I had no way of drawing. So, that's pretty funny, too. Um, the issue here is, he has to get over my board. And if he doesn't get over my board, he's going to get the quickest piccolo into special beam cannon. And I just don't think he has the ability to get over my board. 
we're just going to take this damage because he's now incapable of double striking me and we have to do our best here uh we have the super combos to stop this what we don't have are the uh super combos to uh that that vegeta that vegeta is easy sailing if he intends to use it i don't think he intends to use it but if he does intend to use it he's it's easy swell so we're gonna stop the jirens from hitting us and then see what he does he doesn't i don't think he drops the last two cards in his hand okay never mind he drops the last two cards in his hand he's really trying to push the momentum and he just dropped a a hit and another vegeta so he dropped his last 10k combo power to drop me down to one which to be fair is not a bad play if i do not die or if i do not end him this following turn i probably die so now what we're gonna do is play piccolo and we're gonna have piccolo do this for the free and hit me with the special beam cannon to pop one jiren and then we're just gonna start wailing on it because he does not have the ability he doesn't have the ability to uh to stop him from dying so really he's got to draw he's got to draw 20k or he's got to draw 10k to stop it from dying and that's just not happening so we'll let that roll and then we're gonna send an attack over to this jiren who's gonna use the effect again well first he's just gonna take that hit and then when i swing on it again he's gonna use the effect and he is drawing cards like that is tight he went down to zero cards in hand and he's up at five already or sorry up at four and that's that's strong but he's not drawing cards apparently to combo and he only needs 10k to combo out of this so that's wild now that that's done i'm going to take this get up to 70k and we're going to attack here it's actually going to work and we're going to hold that energy because that's the biggest thing i just want to get the draw um now we're gonna swing here and we're gonna combo up to 30 to see what he drops from his hand yep yep so that's his whole board gone except the vegeta and the vegeta is a very prevalent issue like that card will will do work but we're gonna swing for 40 now and let him drop two cards from his hand and i think he missed yeah that was a mistake sometimes on the client it, stuff happens and i think that tilted him i think that literally tilted him into being like yeah screw this because now he's got to stop a 45k and after stopping a 45k he's got to actually stop whatever is happening in my hand i have two energy up so usually swinging for what this whatever card i draw and i'm instantly going up to 95 so I'm, I'm going up to 95 with this 100 and whatever's on the top of my deck yeah so he just pretty much said all right screw this now moving on to the next one because this is a jiren match where things actually go like a jiren match is supposed to go but first a quick word from our sponsors all right y'all taking a quick moment to shout out the sponsors for this video First up is Mystic TCG, a store based in Missouri that sells all sorts of TCG product, even more than what you see featured here on this page. They also buy singles, collections, and prize cards. So make sure you actually catch them out in their store in Missouri at an event or even on their Facebook just to be able to see the events here, but also ask them what they're up to and what they're looking for in terms of vending. You can also use the code UNIXTCG to get discounts off your pre-orders as well as orders. So make sure you get your TCG product while it's hot. Then you have Eclipse Cards and Hobby based out of Texas, and if that sounds familiar, they did sponsor me with a box of Fusion World Set 1. But as you can see on this page, there is a plethora of TCG products that they are actually having for sale at their establishment. You can also even buy things that aren't just TCG products. As you can see on the screen right here, they hold their own locals, they hold their own events, and they are going out to more and more events. You can actually check their Facebook to see their schedule, as well as call and ask about their vending list. And at the checkout for their website, you can use the code UNI10X to actually get percentages off your pre-orders or your orders. So go check it out as well. And we're always up to all sorts of things in Universe X. So you can go down the description and check the link tree to find out about my other channels, my Twitch, or any other avenues that I'm creating content on. But if you want to go the extra mile, you can always go down to any description on any video and find my Amazon affiliate links. These products here will differ from video to video to cater to the audience in question, but it's just very easy to see something that you may like or be interested in open it up and choose the style and or color that'll work for you all proceeds will give kickbacks to the channel so it'll be some direct support and i'll always appreciate the help 
from you guys. So with that being said, let's get back to the video. And now, let's get back to the content. So this is actually what a Jiren match is supposed to look like. Um, it's going to be greasy in terms of uh, how badly I get slid, but it really is. So looking at this, um, I have days of training and I have Vegeta. I can't afford to throw this hand back. Um, it's just not worth me throwing the hand back. I at least have my ramp turns. Um, he gets the coin. I get a super combo. So we're going to charge the Kami and uh, pass. We have no... I With this sort of hand, I have everything I need. And I don't want to risk putting a Broly on the bottom of my deck. Like, as you guys saw, Broly is one of the most important cards to actually getting this up. And then he plays a hit. Hit is going to be extremely bad for me. Um, because it stops all the little combos I can do to keep my health up early in the game. And it's gonna awaken him as he sees fit. It's just not a good look for me, and it's going to hurt. So I'm gonna charge one of the Moas, and I'm gonna get a swing in, drawing a Piccolo. Um, and already, just with the, just with the hit, a lot of things can kind of look sideways for me. Wouldn't be a problem against blue, wouldn't really be a problem against, like, even, like, black, maybe. But, like, against me, it's not gonna be good. Um, drawing a card... And I did bottom deck our Broly. I remember being so mad that I didn't do that because I didn't want to bottom deck our Broly, and then I bottom deck our Broly. So, here we are, looking foolish. Uh, we're going to get Moa stripped away from us, and then we're going to get attacked. Um, we are getting beat down. Quickly. Quickly. So now we're getting hit again. And we're just going to try to combo out of this. But he's, uh, he uses coin to play hit, which is not bad, because he has another hit. Yeah, this bro is gunning. And he, he decides to leave it up, and I'm not quite sure why. Um, I think he just... He doesn't want me to awaken and be able to pressure the hits. But I think against green, beating the socks off of them before they can get up to uh, 8 energy is just the way to go. So we're still looking for Jiren. Or, sorry, we're still looking for Broly, and we haven't seen it yet. Um, and my turn is over after after ramping. But next turn, at least, we have Vegeta. And I still see double Vegeta, so I'm like, oh, maybe I can do what I did last time, right? Um, this story does not end like that. We're going to take a damage here, and he's going to attack here. I don't know why he uh, didn't attack first with his leader. Because now that's just one extra attack. I think I would have just led with the leader attack. But uh, for some reason, that's just not it for him. I can't be mad at that. And then we get this Goku, which is going to awaken him fully. And there we go. That's the final piece of the puzzle. This man said, I'm beating the the the, the cheeks off this dude. So, like, that that's what's happening. I'm getting the brakes beat out of me. I'm, I'm trying to fight for my life. <laughs> He's adding a valid body to the board every single turn. And the best I'm going to be able to do is, like, get rid of one of them with hit. The Awakening. Big body is here. And, uh, this sucks. So, we're just going to hit this up. And this hand is getting fairly huge. I like how when you block, Piccolo's just like, come at me, bro. <laughs> like, like that, that by far is funny to me. But I'm going to play this, and we're going to get a card from our energy. Or into our energy ramp a little bit. And then all we can really do is attack here and watch him defend it. Guy's got 12 cards in hand. This is not a problem. And he's coming up on his Jiren turn, which makes it even worse. Like, actual Wahali on finish moment. So we're going to pop there and then just hope we don't, like, get completely blasted out. Um, but it's, it's coming. The Jiren cometh. He's drawn too many cards. Oh, JK, we get a Kefla instead. So, realistically, Kefla coming down is better for me because it's not Jiren. However, his board is going so wide. I think at this point he's realized that it's going to be two turns before I can do anything particularly good. And therefore he has nothing to really fear. Like, we're about to have to start using, like, like I just use that because if we don't use it, Vegeta's going to come at me for 50k. And just blow it up. So, now we're at the point of the day where we got to start taking damage that's scary to take and then we're not getting any combo power so uh 
Now he's now he's being smart. He's starting to combo out of stuff. So now I gotta get up to 50 to get out of his 45. This bro is 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 mega braining. You got this attack. He already knows what the deal is. He's just like, yo, let me get another card in your hand, please. And I don't want to use a super combo, so while I still have energy, I have to end up using that. Conservation of these resources. So now we're in a really stinky point. Uh, we're going to charge the Gohan, and I'm just going to commit. Because he hasn't even put the Jiren out, and I'm like at a loss. Like, I'm about to die next turn. He's going to play Jiren, and I'm going to have to suffer one, two, three, four, five, six swings that are all 20 or higher, with one of them a chance of going up to 50. And I, that's my hand, bro. It's just not it. So, yeah, that was the end for me. That that, that was that was a piping hot hell. And uh, we have one more game to show you before the end of this video. So, here we go with Androids. Green versus green. So it should be even, right? Right? Wrong. This is gonna hurt. So looking at that one, I throw that back immediately. Um, I want to be able to have the clear path to ramp. We don't have a Vegeta, but we do have a Days of Training. So that's at least like a better start than it could be. But um, we're still in danger here. We're in we're in grave danger. So yeah, uh, we're gonna play Moa. Get the uh, Earth Destroying Kamehameha, which is a very, very, very good card to play here. And then uh, we're going to get attacked. Kind of got to let this go. Like I said, you have to ride the edge between making sure that you're awakened and making sure that you kind of conserve your health. The issue is how wide androids can go in these first couple turns. And you already see the first of many androids 16 or 17 and 18s coming out. Um, I get another Daze, and it's cool because I'll be able to use it soon. And I get the Vegeta. So the hand's coming together, but I would have really liked it if I had the, uh, the, uh, the coin. Because this is gonna suck soon. Um, to be honest though, it's like, do I wish I had the coin? I don't know. He just charged destructive strength, so you already know he has another one in hand. And he already got the androids. So, end of day, this is going to be a very, very, very strong play for him. He's really got it kind of in the bag. So we're gonna get the uh, destructive strength. It's putting a big bang attack on top of there. That's That's pretty good. Getting Android 17, sorry, 17, 18. We're getting Android 18. Um, so now I'm like, okay, well, this is happening. I'm going to play Days of Training. Wish I had Destructive Strength there, but I might reverse the polarity right there. Because at least Destructive Strength allows me to play at one drop, even though I don't have it in him. Or I can at least use um, my, uh, my Meteor. But I'm going to attack, and he's going to combo. And that comboing is going to allow him to set up for Androids next turn. Because he'll be able to pump and dump with it. Um, charging another big bang attack. He's really high on those, but the card's not bad now. To, uh, 5k or less, or 5 cost or less removal is pretty good. So, yeah, getting the hit on that and then being able to set up, not for an Android, but for a Vegeta. This deck is a little, is a little teched out. Getting the destructive strength back and then passing. I think he's just going to really try to blow it out in one go. Now that I charge up to 5, we'll play the Vegeta. And the Vegeta is going to get an energy back. I'm going to attack him. See what he does. He keeps his life total up high as he should. We're neck and neck in cards. And we're actually neck and neck in ramp. But the issue is this next turn. As long as he has two. He's going to be able to double androids me. So we draw into another blank. But that's to be expected with a, with a deck like this. And I'm going to attack into him. I want to try to get his health low, but he's about to start putting pressure on the board that I can't ignore. And that's going to be a problem. So, yeah. We are basically going to get attacked here. He's going to draw a card. And I'm just going to combo the Goku off. We have to get that out while we can. But the fact that he uh, left it on board and let a free attack get countered just means that he's about to go off. Uh, if you guys have been watching this game for long enough, you know where this is going. The androids are about to pop off. So now he's back at a uh, 5 upstanding energy. He's going to attack to attack. I don't really have the combo power to let that go, especially knowing I'm going to get attacked two more times this turn. He's playing androids again. Yeah, this is very scary. 
this this effect should honestly be a once per turn and uh yeah now he's gonna start really going off he's at eight energy now um this is the play that you want to do in the deck attacking me to now just get a draw so now even though our hands are pretty even um he's got a massive board of neutral attacks and this is even worse it does not matter that the homeboy does not have a broly or anything this is just actually getting out of control Yep, um, and we are not we are not here for it. So we are now at a point where <laughs> we're gonna awaken. Yeah, like ooh, yeah, this hurts. This actually hurts. So yeah, we are we are gonna try our best here, but uh, I'm just not I'm not seeing it, dude. I'm not seeing it. So we have to start giving away mad cards in order to not get evaporated off the face of this earth. And then after uh, surviving, quote unquote, we are going to attempt to see what we can do to fight back. We're going to play Gohan here, because Gohan is going to be able to get us to 8 energy, and 8 energy is going to be able to get us to start using our effects. So. He's going to let that go. Uh, I saw he played Recursion Android 17, so it probably doesn't matter that much. We're going to attack for 40 here and see what he does he's unawakened so we likely just have the opportunity to let that bang all right that's cool that's cool and now we're going to be able to untap the leader and swing it at this guy hopefully reducing the amount of play he has here we still have three super combos and cells earth destroying so we're in a decent position not a great position like, the match isn't as bad as it could be yet. It's definitely not great, though. So now he's going to get another Android 1718. He's going to get in a sling. Um, we got to drop a card, a 5k, but then he props it up to 20k. I'm just going to let this happen. I know that sounds weird, but I would just like another 5k in hand, and we got it. Um, he still could play Burly on me, and at this point, I'm just like, if that happens, it happens. It sucks, but it happens. So now we're going to just let that happen. And he's just in a dominating position right now. He's seen a lot of his deck. He's got 18 cards left in deck. He's gone deeper than me. Um, there's just not really a way that I see him not having Broly in hand at this point. And he kept open the 8 energy. I'm just about to eat it. So we're going to sit here and Earth Destroying Blow. Check the top card of my deck. It's worth drawing. It's a 10k. We'll uh, block that off. And that should let him know all he needs to know about my combo power. Next, he's going to play Broly, which is really the bind. Because it's going to lock me out of playing my own Gohan. I would have really liked to play Broly into Gohan. And maybe that means I should have let the uh, the card go. But I, that 10k was fairly needed. Yeah, this list is such a work in progress, but I'm just not sure if there's a way that Piccolo works right now. It's the other green decks just don't have the holes that he has because they're not extra deck based. Making him extra deck based was probably one of the worst things they could have done. I know it's too early to have like crazy stuff like that, but he should have had battle cards that also count themselves as extra cards or something like that. Because the, the lack of combo and the way you have to structure this deck to get his gimmicks off are just not really that great. So now we get to do this, and he's just going to combo, because why not? He's in such an unbelievable board position. And he can just keep his health up high. A singular second Broly just cracks my entire board position. I have uh, three defensive cards in hand that I can't use because I was forced to use my Broly. Uh, and we no longer have special, special wing cannon. So, we don't have special wing cannon, so there's no way I can even play Piccolo and use special wing cannon to press the offensive that way. Because that would have been a good play, too. It wouldn't have, uh, it wouldn't have locked me out of all my energy, but I would have been able to play special beam cannon, which would have been a great card. And then I would play Piccolo, play special beam cannon, blow up Broly, and then I would be able to attack everything. And that's kind of like the one thing that kind of sucked about this game. At least having Piccolo and especially in Canada blow up Broly, and then be able to swing 30 on a, a 20k, and then swing 40 on his life, and then swing another 40 on a 20k. Would have been really, really good. I would have gotten rid of just as many things on the board, but also kept my energy up for these destructive strengths. Or, sorry, Gigantic Meteors. 
But now I'm sitting at a point where it's all I can do just to stay alive. And I'll tell you right now, without even having to go to the Patreon, I play three Special Beam Cannon because there's just not enough room in the deck to be playing that many extras. And that's pretty much it. Um, there's nothing I can really do here. His life is too high. And all I can do is play my own Broly. Hope I draw into something relevant. And pop that. Um, we're going to attack here. I'm just pretty much done. I should, I should attack here with Broly first. But if I attack here, I get another swing. So we're going to draw. And then uh, we're going to be able to attack there, which is fine. I can attack either or, but I just want this to be gone no matter what. It's just, this part of the game, there's just no, there's no way. Bro can just play a third Broly, and I'm dead. Bro doesn't even need to do that. Dude could literally attack with his leader and just combo every extra card he has in his hand. And I'm just done for. So, he's in a combo out here. I got another card. It doesn't add to my combo power. And that's pretty much like, that literally is murder she wrote. There is absolutely nothing I can do here. He's just going to take it, because why not? He plans to shotgun me next turn anyway. And I have no real defense for it. Yeah, I'm hoping we get some stellar support next game, because... Or next set. Like, to be honest, I don't want them to break Piccolo, but Piccolo needs to have some sort of, like, ungodly, otherworldly ramp. And then we get the Broly to kill my Broly, and that's just it. That's the scoop for me. Like, there's no way I survive this, especially back with my hands, so I'm pretty sure I just hit the... Yeah, there we go. And that is uh, Piccolo versus another green deck. So, yeah. Those are my Piccolo games. Uh, thank you guys for the support, and thank you guys for watching. We're going to be circling around to uh, more games from this. I think I'll just do uh, Dead Coup or Angel Coup next. Then we'll work our way to... Um, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't really want to do Majin Buu. But, um, but if we get enough ass for it, we'll do it. And of course, we got SS4 Goku, we got Bardock, we got a lot of stuff to go on. So, um, yeah, like I said, thank you guys for the support. If you want to support further, you can always go in the description to find the Patreon, join the Discord, or go over to Universe X and check out my other Dragon Ball-related content. But thank you guys for being here. I will see you in the next video.